everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I have a stationery haul or basically a back to school kind of what to get for school type of haul. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I go and shop in Ryman's and for those who don't know what Ryman's is, it's just a sort of stationery shop and we have WH Smith as well but I think that's just kind of it doesn't have what I like need and it's also further away than Ryman's. I have a Ryman's much closer by and um, from my last video that I did last year on Stationery Hall, a lot of you guys also said that you like Ryman's for their different things. So um, I just got very basic necessities and only those who are true stationery lovers would probably appreciate this haul. But also if you're starting school or college or university, I think these are some of the things that I would personally recommend you having. So the first thing is, and it looks kind of excessive, is a really big folder like this. Now you might say, hey Arudu, I don't go to art school or I don't have that many documents, but if you go to college or if you go to university, this is the most perfect thing to have. I use mine for basically storing health records, um, for travel documents and bank details. Normally when you go to a new university or different area, you know, you set up with a new bank and you know, you have student loans, so that's another segment. Um, you know, if you want to ca um, keep receipts that are very important like your computer, your laptop receipt or an iPad, things that are quite expensive if you've invested in a vacuum cleaner. Um, I know I bought like a Dyson, oh, but this wasn't for college or university, but you know, like things like that, they're a little bit more expensive, you'd want to file away. So I got this one and um, it's got a lot of tabs and it's just really useful. So this is how many tabs it has. They have smaller ones and I think I bought a smaller one as well. So you might not need to have such a big one, so for example, this is a little bit, you know, too big, so because it has all the multiple tabs, so I keep this one at home to store things, whereas if I was going to university, I bought a smaller one. Oh, so this one is the expand expanding file with 13 pockets, and I think that is just the right amount of pockets you need. It's a little bit more probably, but it's better to have more than less. So that is the expanding file, and I just love the way that they're really nice bright colours but it's a see-through pouch which I think is quite minimalistic and cute and um, you can just store this under your bed or in your cupboard somewhere and you know that if you want to store something or you have something important you know where it is, it's just in like one of these expanding files. So I highly recommend that. Then, um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, these are amazing. Um, and I just love the colours that they come out with um, this time, Ryman's. I think normally I just get very, you know, simple colours, but the fact that they've come out with these really nice, like, sort of bright summery colours, it's kind of easy. Now, there are a few things I use these for. One, either if I have a coursework or homework to hand in if I, when I was at university, I would put it in one of these files. I just like the way that they were zipper. Um, I just like that. Sometimes I would use it to store things. Um, like a diary or um, you know bits of loose paper that were in my bag that I didn't want um, to put just hanging around in there in case I had a water bottle that would leak so it was kind of protected in there. Um, I just find really great uses for them and I bought two because I thought why not? Why not have two? It's really easy to just transport things and it looks very professional if you have a presentation to carry it in one of these. You can just use one of those like sort of open closed um, files but the best thing about these that are zipped is you don't have to have your papers hole punched or anything like that so you just pop them in there and then you can file them away when you are at home so I got these two and they're just called the zip bag and they are for A4 size paper and then oh I love this color I couldn't help myself um, it's just a very typical standard notebook. Um, I will leave all the links of all the products I have mentioned down below so you have easy access if you want to order online and there's like a special coupon I think if you um, subscribe to like one of their newsletters so you get a bit of a deal from that too. But basically it's just a typical lined paper and you can get different colours for different subjects if you require that for school. Um, I personally just liked a for example, when I was in med school, um, <laughs> I also kind of remember, 
um, I like for example had anatomy so I had a book for anatomy so anything that I did at school I did at school and then when I came home and I would study a certain subject like head and neck or something I would try and draw it out and like write it out as many times as I can and kind of do the brachial plexus like time and time again I just kind of like designated a notepad for that and it's just bright colored fun big and it was really good to go um, and take with you for group discussion so you could all doodle along on this big piece of paper when it's opened out it's just really really handy so I love that and I just love this blue it just makes me want to dive into it kind of like you know one of those really nice pools and then what else did I get so that was it in terms of like big folders and papers and stuff like that um, then I got um, these and I couldn't help myself oh my god they're so cool it's the Stabilo Fineliner, but they're in neon, and I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but, but, I thought that when I'm studying, and I do still have exams here and there, it would be really nice to write in neon. I normally write in just blue ink, or, you know, like, a different colour ink, but to have it in fine liner and to have it in a neon colour, I thought it'd be really nice, and especially to just circle things in your book, um, it will kind of it's thin so it's not like a highlighter using a highlighter to circle like I'll still use my highlighter so my highlighter will highlight the words that I need and then if I need to like look at something that doesn't need to be highlighted but still important I can kind of line it with this neon sort of highlighter color with a pen so I love it and this is a pack of five and it's just got a yellow orange a really nice sort of corally peachy pink color it's my favorite kind of a flamingo pink then a bright pink and a green so I think I'm gonna make good use out of this and I really like it it's all like really bright I love how they did that I've been watching a few like um, back to school videos online and um, a lot of people have been getting stuff from Target and they've also come out with like lots of bright neon stuff so it's just really fun I wish I it kind of really makes me want to go back to school then I bought another one of these pens. I love these pens. I bought one for myself on my Hermes agenda. It's like a orange one with the orange crystal and you know I've sent them through some swaps in the past. Um, they're just really pretty to keep in your diary and I decided to go for this rose petal pink with the pink crystal on top. It's just beautiful. I really like it. It's very chic. It's very cute to put in your handbag. I just got another one. And then um, I got these mini mice, these are the Tipex mini mouse and I just, I like Tipex a lot. I personally prefer the liquid form but sometimes it's just nice to have like that clean slate so I kind of go back and forth but the mini ones are just great because they're small so you can fit them in your pencil case and um, it was just a good value to get too. Then I got these, oh yeah this goes with this. I do I did I really need this? No, but I got it for a, sp a particular person in mind. This is the handband dispenser from Scotch, and it's the pop-up tape. And basically, you kind of slip this through your hand, and then you've got already made little tabs of sellotape. Which and I just got some backups, and this is really good because they're pre-cut. Uh, you just pull it out and tape it you don't need to kind of like do it with your teeth or kind of stick them does anyone else like kind of stick them on the chin I do that a lot and then or I do them like on the table on the corner of a table you just kind of pick it out every time you need it and it's just really good to wrap up presents to you know cover your notebooks whatever you need it and um, I got this one because it was just cute as well and pink and then what else did I get then I just got a regular sellotape just because sometimes I need longer strips so I've got sellotape and you always need sellotape when you go to university it's just unbelievable what you use it for and then this one's the last thing I got and I only got one and I think I might go back and get a few more but I don't typically use pencil as much but um, it's such a beautiful colour I have the Faber-Castell sort of um, pens it's I've got the grey one with like the black rubbery dots on there and then I saw this one it was so pretty it's a metallic rose colour and it has like sort of holographic sort of like little you know dots there and it was just 
such a pretty pencil like if I if I had this in my pencil case at school I would have gone crazy for it so I had to pick up this it was just so beautiful and they've got some other metallic colors and yeah as I said I'm gonna get another one and I remember when I was in Iran I picked up a leopard print one no it wasn't leopard print it was a tiger print one and I used that actually quite a bit and um, I'm actually surprised because um, I don't typically as I said use pencil but it's good for when you're making initial notes in your book and it's also really good for drawing out things you know um, I don't do art or anything but you have to draw out like certain organs and stuff just for memorization and um, it's just nice to do it in a pencil rather than a pen and um, so yeah you might be thinking well why on earth do you need all this and why did you do a video like this well basically my sister if you don't watch her she is going off to university and so actually I bought all this for her so I hope she enjoys that and um, yeah she'll find out now so I hope you enjoyed this video I'll speak to you very soon take care guys bye